Hello again. Pretty random, but this time we have a moving head, show gear, and the main goal is, of course, repair these because they are some kind of broken and fix them to this year level so plan is fix and convert these to lead and as we can see both of them will some kind of work or even they do some self-testing brochure when turn it on but like always all even gears are really really dusty dust in every hole what you can imagine First we are going to clean them then start to figure out how to use them and how to convert the LED bulbs because in these kind of devices use uh, some kind of fluorescent lamps or some kind of high voltage bulbs like the data projectors and they cost like a nuts so if we can convert these to LED bulbs then we don't have any more worry about the really expensive light bulbs yeah that's the plan now we can start cleaning them. Really kind of cool looking unit, but really, really dusty. I 
really dust. And where lump must be under here. If I have to guess, yes, there. Hmm. Okay. Looks interesting. Because I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that I have been seen that kind of bulb somewhere in my real day job. But the system really seems to be kind of simple. We have a light bulb and the lenses to focus at the light. Stepper motor to turn turn the pattern plate and another stepper motor turning the color plate and what then? Four one, two, three, four, five stepper motors more for some insanely good reason. I don't really know yet why there are so more, so many of them. So, <coughs> I first unscrewed all of the bottom screws and it seems to be that was not necessary and the moving head was attached on the place, plate base with the screws so I had to put few screws back on to get to keep everything in place now it is only tracing job to hunt down the wires there and It seems that both of 
servo cables comes down here and there is our servo motor controller ICs and I'm guessing that some of them are maybe broken well well <coughs> little bit offline jobs but earlier I noticed that these shutter plates stays always closed they would never open and it was dumb mistake now they are open and they work just like they should but stupid user error DMX configuration was wrong so the shutter was all the time closed so these are no malfunctioning but what I found was a fault code which was correlated with that head temperature sensor right there <coughs> I can show you the error in the moment yeah and that thermostat is lying behind the air fan and this is the screw mounted side of the unit it is that side where you need to unscrew the screws to take the cover off and now we want to check the original temperature sensor what type it is and try to replace it it should not be really hard but you must first unscrew the one screw to get access to mounting screw on the temperature sensor and it is a little bit tricky tricky to do sensor and it seems to be brown green and orange So what it means <coughs> wrong green and orange it is if I am making that right so I am putting 
the colors in the resistor valve calculator and it tells that it is 15k but I am not sure do I have the right anti-C resistor at stock and I have been test running it with the, the 10 kilo ohms resistor and it um, really seems to work really well with that so if we put the lower valve then simply the main control board get fooled it thinks that the head is hotter than it actually is so some thermal protection should kick a little bit earlier well yeah <coughs> it should have 15 kilo ohms and it measures not even one <laughs> so it is really busted and I don't have exact right valve but we can a little bit improvise I have 10 kilo ohms and 4.7 kilo ohms so when I put them in parallel I get pretty close to 15 kilo ohms in 20 degrees of Celsius so if I put them in parallel there I am getting really damn close the right amount of resistance in different temperatures and if it won't work then I can always order the exact valve and change it later but now when I have to get things done these parts what do I have in my hands so we are going to use them We can get something different. Just find work next time. And of course, the movement needs to be cleaned very well because they are showing dust inside. But it is so boring, I'm not showing you the clean part of the repair. I'm really sorry, you are not in the system. See only, just remove things. Really Now we have to be careful that legs won't touch each other. And I'm pretty confident that it is going to perform just like it should. No in place. And then we are going to do some test run. Remember, it was 
Whoa, different. Whoa, similar. Yes. What the fuck? And the other one is pretty much working. There is. Three. Nothing. Yes, but pretty much dust. And I have been there once before, so I accidentally put the pieces in the wrong order. So now I am same time putting the wasps in the right place where they belong. But there is really not much room to do it. It's kind of, kind of, little point place where the PCB is mounted with the sensors. But if I can do it, anyway, just have to be really, really colorful. And there is not a button knot. And we are home of fish. Don't forget to put that. Connect the touch. You can call me If you don't remember, because the unit will tell you that the wire is not in place. Yeah. It is done. Now it just needs to be tested. And clean it. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day. Yeah, let's see. Let's see for the temperatures. Here and here. So PC port is 21 and head is 20. Hmm. Pretty close, I think. Then the test run. Light is already on. But the shutter is still closed, but it will open the shutter soon. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.